Hello, Nicole Hetty here from Paper Tray Ink, and I'm here with your next Make It Monday challenge, and today we're going to be making a vellum sentiment strip. I'm really excited to share this with you today. First, I am using Year of Flowers Sweet Peas. I've inked it up with Fresh Snow ink, and I've got a block of Simply Chartreuse cardstock that I'm stamping onto. Love that image. I'm using the Corner Chomper to round just the top two corners of my card cover. And then I'm taking a Copic marker and I'm adding just a little bit of an outline around the edge of the image. Uh, one of the things that I like to do is use Copics in conjunction with white ink. Um, the white ink resists the Copic markers just enough that it allows you to easily stay inside or outside of the lines depending on what the project you're doing is. And it just has such a nice crisp finished look to it. Um, I selected a Copic marker that is just a little bit um, more brown hued than simply chartreuse cardstock. And the end result is once it dries that it provides a nice shadowing uh, to the flower image and helps to make it pop from your cardstock. And you easily, if you you know don't like using Copic markers or aren't a fan of coloring at all, you could easily just skip this uh, step altogether for this project and it would still look really, really beautiful. The good thing about the Year of Flowers images is they're so detailed and so beautifully done that they really can take center stage depending on how simple you want to go or how complex. So I'm just finishing adding the last bit of shading here to help this image to pop. And now I'm going to get ready to get the vellum strip ready. The vellum strip is about one inch wide and I'm using my score buddy and I am scoring just beside the edge of the strip. Uh, one thing I like to do is go back and forth over it two or three times so that I get a nice crisp deep score. Um, here I've flipped it back over and I'm repeating that on the other side so both the top and the bottom end up being scored. Beautiful. Now I've got my sentiment. This is from Giga Guidelines. I've inked it with black ink and I'm stamping it on the vellum strip we just finished scoring. As you can see, I'm centering it in between the score lines. So those serve as a good reference point. I'm taking the focal point that we prepared earlier and applying adhesive to the back. And there you have it. I'll adhere this to the front of my white card base. When you're doing a clean and simple project like this, it's important to take the time to make sure everything's squared up and straight and all that. For the vellum strip, um, I get asked all the time how to adhere vellum to a card. Um, one of the things I like to do with um, these vellum strips for sentiments is when you do the scoring, it allows you to hide the score tape um, underneath the um, white area of the vellum that is established when you score. I'm using 1 8 inch score tape here and that's the perfect width to go right underneath the score line. Peel away the backing here and adhere it right into place. I always make my strips longer than my card so I can trim off the excess and have it be perfectly square. Here I am taking a button that I die cut from white cardstock using the buttoned up number one die and I'm stamping it with gingham uh, from our new Biddy Background Blocks stamp set. I love the way that sets the card off. Next I'm going to stitch this button in place. Um, when I'm stitching a button on a, on a project, I like to put um, a piece of foam behind my project and use a paper piercer to pierce directly through the buttonholes 
as far as where I want the button to be placed on the card. And then I already have the holes readily available to stitch with instead of trying to force my needle through all those layers of paper. I'm using black floss to stitch this button in place. Starting in the back, I go through one of the holes that I've already pierced. And then um, up through the button. And then, of course, back down again. And do the same thing through the other two holes. I love stitching buttons onto a project because it really just adds a little something, especially with a project as simple as this one. Makes things look really homespun and homemade, which I like. To finish off the card, I pull the string back onto the back of the front cover and adhered it down with tape. And then I have a piece of white cardstock trimmed just slightly smaller than the back of the front cover to cover up the stitching and give me a nice clean interior. And there you have it, a vellum sentiment strip that can be used on pretty much any kind of card, no matter the style or the size. Um, I'm sure you'll find many different ways to adapt this technique to your projects. Enjoy, and I look forward to seeing your results. Thank you.